everybody, this is Alex with You Had Me at Craft today, and today I have my next installment or my next project for my birthday party series. Today, this is um, an idea that comes from Kathy over at paperphenomenon.com. She shares in her blog how to make paper flower lollipops with simple, um, like these lollipops I bought from the dollar store, and uh, and then you cut out some paper flowers. In this case, I use Accent, Accent Essential. Okay, everybody, well, we're ready to go ahead and assemble our little lollipop flowers. I'm really excited to make these. Um, this little flower was cut from the Accent Essentials cart at two and a half inches. In Kathy's video, she uses a flower, a five petal flower from the George cartridge. And since I don't have the George cartridge, I decided to use this one. I made some adjustments um, in the instructions um, so to accommodate the type of flower that I'm using. So definitely um, when you see my method um, or the adjustments that I made uh, so that this method would work for me, check out her video too so you can see how you can make them with the George cartridge as Try well. Try with this one. A small little snip, make it small, then fold it the other direction, another little snip, and that should work fine, okay? Remember we're using paper so we can't be too rough. So there's one. Then this next one's a little bit more tricky. You're gonna actually be removing one of the petals. And so you're just gonna cut into the center, removing one petal. And then you're going to take the space that you don't have a petal in and you're gonna take the two remaining petals and fold them into each other and overlap those. So you're creating kind of a cone shape, okay? We're gonna use hot glue because it's just quicker and faster. I'm using a low temp hot glue because I know that I will burn myself <laughs> a lot <laughs> if I don't use a low temp but a hot temp would work well as well. I'm using just as a, a white Sakura gel pen, anything like a chopstick, um, anything that has that smooth and round pencil sh uh, shape, I guess, that I'm gonna use kind of like a curling iron. You see what I'm doing here? I'm grasping the petal between my thumb and the, pen, the gel pen and curling the petal. Okay, and so then the same thing you're going to do to your flower that is still a six petal flower. So I hope you guys can see that pretty well. And some of them I'm just doing a little bit more to get, you know, to curl it nicely. With my fingers, I'm just adjusting the curl without creasing the paper. Okay, so there you go. Now this cone has, needs to have a small hole so that my lollipop flower will or my lollipop stick. So I'm just gonna like ever so gently just snip off the tip. Okay, once again, if you snip off too much, then you're in trouble. You're gonna rip your petals apart. I'm gonna take my, <clears throat> my lollipop, make sure that it's wrapped and none of the actual lollipop is exposed. Go ahead and put some glue around. You don't want the kids who are, or adults who are gonna eat this to find glue all over their lollipop flower. And see, this is where I would burn myself <laughs> if I wasn't using low temp. So I'm pushing the lollipop in and the glue is allowing me 
to secure it nicely. So it becomes the center of my flower. And at this point, you can even curl some more if you want. Okay, but that looks pretty good to me. Then the next thing we're gonna do is put on our second flower so we have another layer. So around the base of the lollipop, put some more glue. That little hole that you made is where your stick's gonna go through. And the use of the hot glue gun not only makes it dry quickly, but um, helps you to form around the roundness of the base of a lollipop. That is so cute. I am just loving how that is looking. I like that a lot. Isn't this gonna be so cute? This is gonna be so cute. What a fun idea. I love it. Okay, so we have a flower, but we need some leaves. Now, I came up with my own method for leaves because I wanted to use this very thick um, green ribbon that is really hard to tie in a knot. You could take regular ribbon and just tie around the base in a knot or in a bow or whatever and make it green so that it, it kind of gives the illusion of leaves. But in this case, what I wanted to do is I'm going to take about this much, let's see, I cut, I cut the end at an angle like that. I'm gonna fold it in half, but kind of make a V shape with it. And then I'm gonna cut the other side also at an angle. So kind of like, you know, a, a leaf would be. Then where they meet, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right there. Creating a V shape. Okay, so it kind of looks like leaves. And then about, oh, three quarters of an inch out, or maybe half an inch, somewhere in between there. I'm gonna use my scissors to create a hole. So I'm gonna fold it in half snip it's very thick so this you have to gauge how thick your your ribbon is and just I need a hole so I can get my lollipop stick in there okay then once again I'm going to go back to my lollipop put more glue in there and then thread my lollipop stick through the hole and then the glue is going to help me once again press my lollipop and my petals. And then how cute is that? Oh man, that is, I like this a lot. This is cute. You know, I hadn't tried this before and that's why I love vlogging, to find all kinds of ideas out there and then recreate them. And sometimes you have to do what I do is um, just adjust it to fit the materials that you are using. Um, that's what the whole idea is for. Now I probably could cut this like that. No, that's okay. Just leave it that way. I was thinking this little flap was a little too long. Then the extra little thing that I'm going to do is use some stickles on the ends of the petals just to give it a little bit of I don't know, glitter, a little, it just needed something, a little accent. So I'm just going on nothing fancy, just kind of shmearing, shmearing, shmearing is not a word, shmearing a little bit of, of stickles on there. Oh, I am loving how this looks. <laughs> and when that dries, that's just going to give a little bit of a sparkle to my flowers. And then the next thing I'm going to do is, since they're party favorites, so we have our flower all done and it's looking pretty good just by itself like this, but I wanted to just do like a little tag, because remember, they're party favors. So what I'm going to do is take some Stampin' Up! or whatever color you want to use 
ink, a punch, like a punch that looks like a tag. So I chose this one also from Stampin' Up. I'm using just plain white paper. I'm using um, a Sweet Wishes uh, stamp if you, from one of um, my Pink Stamper stamp sets. I, come, I keep coming back to this stamp set a lot. This is um, one of her early ones. Ink up my stamp. And I'm going to go a little bit off to the side, and I want to tell you why in a moment. Okay, so just, I'm not centering it. I'm going a little off to the side. Okay? Now that does look a little plain, but I could just simply take, oops, a Stampin' Up! or whatever kind of marker. I'm going to use purple because that's in the motif. And I'm going to do some stitching around it or just some doodling, really. I'm miss, missing a little dash here. So you want to go all the way around. And so I decided to do it this way. Take my lollipop, I'll put my ink aside. And then my whole idea is to just go ahead and glue this in here. I'm not going to tie it or anything like that. I just want to put a tiny little bit of um, hot glue. Since I already have it out, might as well use what I have. And I'm just going to kind of stick it in here so you can see the words that say sweet wishes. Can you see that? Okay. And that's going to be my tag.